This is part 24 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss validating form array. We already know a form array can contain form controls, form groups or nested form arrays. In our case, this skills form array is an array of skill form groups and each form group in turn contains these three form controls, skill name, experience in years and proficiency. If all these form controls are valid, then the form group that contains those three form controls is valid. Similarly, if all the form groups are valid, then the form array which contains those form groups is valid. Even if a single form control in any of the form groups in the form array is invalid, then the entire form array becomes invalid. Here is what we want to do. We want to keep this add skill button disabled until all the form controls in the form array are valid. Notice at the moment this proficiency form control is invalid. As a result, we kept the add skill button disabled. So the end user cannot add another skill set until all the form controls in the current skill set are valid. Once all the form controls in the form array are valid, that's when we want to enable this add skill button so the end user can add another skill set. This is very easy to achieve. All we have to do is check if our form array is invalid. Remember, if any of the form controls in the form array is invalid, then the entire form array becomes invalid. So we are checking the invalid property of our skills form array. To get a reference of the skills form array on our root form group, we are using the get method and passing it our form array name skills. And if the form array is invalid, we want to keep this button disabled. So we are binding to the disabled property. To indicate we are doing a property binding here, we have a pair of square brackets. So let's include this disabled property binding on our add skill button. In the view template, we have our add skill button right here. So let's bind to its disabled property. Notice on the initial page load, we have one skill set and since all the form controls in this skill set are invalid, the form array is invalid and as a result, the button is disabled. Now let's make these controls valid by providing some values. Notice as soon as all the controls are valid, the form array is valid and the button is enabled. Now when we click the button, another skill set is added and since these form controls are invalid, the form array is invalid and the button is disabled again. Now when all these controls become valid, Notice the button is enabled again. Now, before we conclude form array validation, let's do one more thing while we are here. We want to include a separator line between each skill group. We want to do this only when we have more than one skill group. This is very easy to achieve. All we have to do is include an HR element with NGF structural directive. We want this HR element to be rendered only when I value is greater than zero and this i value is the array index. Remember, array index is zero based. If i value is zero, then that means we only have one skill group. If it's greater than zero, then that means we have more than one skill group and that's when we want the separate line. So let's include this HR element within our create employee form. Our skills form array is right here. As we are looping through each skill group, let's use the index variable i and check if we have more than one skill form group. If that's the case, render this HR element. At the moment, we only have one skill group and we don't have the horizontal line. Now let's make all these form controls valid and add another skill group. Now between these two skill groups, we have a separator line right here, but we cannot see it properly. So let's change its color. We want to include border style for this HR element. Let's do that in the component CSS file. The style is for the HR element. We want to include border style. We want one pixel solid silver border. There we go. The line is much clearer now. That's it in this video and thank you for watching.